If you're activating dry yeast to make wine, there are some important measurements that need to be precise. As a general rule, each 5 grams of yeast requires 2 ounces of water. The packaging will tell you exactly how much water to use. You should use distilled water. The package will also suggest a water temperature range. This is an important number. If it's too hot, the water can cook the yeast. If it's too cold, the yeast may not activate. If you're using a yeast packet, add the whole packet. Each 5 gram packet should ferment about 5 to 6 gallons of juice. If you're using bulk, measure the amount you'll need. Add the dry yeast to the water and mix. Then allow time for the yeast to hydrate. In this case, the packet says 20 minutes. Once hydrated, add some juice to the yeast to provide nutrients. And again, allow time for the yeast to divide and grow a large population. In this case, we waited another 20 minutes. Then pitch the yeast mixture under the surface of the juice. Here, we're fermenting white wine in a carboy. And since we only have three gallons of juice, we only used half of the mixture. The mixture is allowed to remain on the surface. It is not mixed in. No matter which strain of yeast we're using, we always prepare it the same way. Here, we're hydrating yeast for red wine. The mixture is spread over the surface of the juice in the fermentation vessel. Once again, it's not mixed in. Proper hydration and activation of these dry wine yeasts will help get your fermentation off to a vigorous start. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why not like and subscribe?